So we're down to the last thing that RC All Wheel Drive sent me for the Latrax pre-runner, and it is the bulkhead aluminum diff housing. So first thing we have to do is we're gonna have to take the top brace off there. So that way we have access to the center drive shaft. And then we're gonna remove the shocks, shock tower, everything above the diff case on both ends, front and rear. take the chassis brace off and then we can get to the diffs and then once we get the differentials out we can take these bulkheads off right here <laughs> I took the steering servo out just because it makes it easier for me to show you how to do this, but you wouldn't have to take that out. So now we're down to the chassis. Now this doesn't have to come out, this lower part of the aluminum housing that I installed from RC All Wheel Drive as well. Same with the steering servo mount. Also have a video on that, but now we can take these bulkheads off. Okay, now that we have the old ones off, time to put the new ones on. There is no front and rear to these. They're identical. Front and back are on. We're ready to start assembling this again. So if you've seen in one of my other videos, I shim the diffs. So let's see if shimming the diff is a problem here. It feels pretty good there. Let's put the rear diff in. Yeah, that feels good like that. Let's put the drive shaft back in. Now we'll put the motor back in, get this all put back together. Now the only thing we have to transfer over from the stock diff cover to the aluminum diff cover is we have to transfer these screws here. Okay, we got the back all together. Looks pretty good. And now it's time to put the front on. The only thing I'm looking at here is, you know, I had to replace these screws here with the ones that were included. So there's two short ones, two short ones. So that's four. Two short ones here, that's six. And then two short ones on the bottom, that's eight. I only have six short ones left. I don't know if I got shorted screws or if they were figuring that those screws would go somewhere else, but I only have six short ones left. Luckily, I have an M2 kit with the same size screws. Looks like it could be these. Yes, that is it. So I do have extra screws here.
there it is. It's done and it looks so good with the aluminum bulkheads. And I'm happy with how this turned out. A little unfortunate, didn't have enough screws. When you're in this hobby, you always have to have some screws on hand. So let's throw a battery in and put the body and take it out and rip it.